Whether you live full time in your RV like we do, or you have your use your camper once in a while, you still need to disinfect your fresh water tank on occasion. It's recommended twice a year. You can either use chemicals or the way that we're gonna do it today. Let's go down that road. Hello, faithful people. I'm Orlean. There are three ways that you can disinfect your fresh water tank in your RV. One of them is with bleach. We don't like using bleach because it's a chemical and you don't always get it fully rinsed out and it takes a lot of water to do that. The second way is with vinegar. Same thing, you, it's not a chemical, but it really needs to be rinsed really, really well. The third way is with baking soda. It was a good day to do it because we have to go empty our tanks today. And we thought this would be the perfect opportunity to do it. We're getting ready to go south for the winter pretty soon. So we wanted to make sure we had all those things taken care of before we go. We've been living in our RV for full time for now going on our seventh year. We're so excited. We didn't even know if we were going to be able to do one. Anyway, um, we've, we use our freshwater tank almost, I would say, probably 85, 90% of the time. We hardly ever stay at a place where we have full hookup. And so we don't use the city water. And if we do use city water connection, we always use a filter. Whenever we fill our fresh water, I got bad hair day. Whenever we, whenever we fill our fresh water tank, we always use a filter. So the water that's been going into our fresh water tank has always been filtered water but it's still a good idea to disinfect it at least twice a year. And we're doing the baking soda method this time, which we think is gonna be a lot easier. The simplest solution is to use baking soda, mix it with a gallon of water, and then pour that into your fresh water tank through a funnel. The directions we got was eight, eight ounces, ounces per gallon. Yeah. Eight ounces per gallon, and I just did sixteen. Oh well, <laughs> we're going to be really making sure it's going to be good. Okay, so this is this gets mixed up, and it gets added to the fresh water tank, and then it and then the moving of the, the shaking as we go down the road and around corners will help to mix it all up into tank. Yep. And then we'll slosh back and then drain it. Right. All right. So he's mixing it up good. And then it'll be added to the water that's already in the tank. And then they say it should be almost full. The fresh water tank should be almost full. Well, I was figuring out doing about a half a tank. Okay. That's almost full. <laughs> yes, dear. <laughs> Keeps mixing it up as he goes so it doesn't get settled, although. And then they recommend driving around for about 10, 15 minutes. Makes it slosh a lot around. That's the perfect opportunity because we're gonna be dumping our tanks. You don't have to do, do a lot of swerve. You're gonna get arrested. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're drunk. <laughs> I have a stabilizer on my camera. It's not this smooth. <laughs> A lot of seasonals in here. They're set up year round. They stay here year round. They just pay a year round fee and then they don't have to pay for storage or anything for their, their RVs. They have decks. They have lots of really nice little amenities that they put in themselves. The 
This one even has a little, like an addition, additional roof on it. I don't know if I'm showing that or not. Yeah. At this particular dump station, we always have to put it up on blocks to give it a little bit more slant to make sure it drains out really well. Just to clarify some things, we are not going to be emptying our freshwater tank here. It's only our black and gray tank. So the water will be slushy on the way, sloshing around yet on the way back. Then we'll empty it out. First the black tank, right? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you always get the dirty job. <laughs> yeah. Black tank first, so that the gray water will flush out the tube a little bit. I can't get in there to do it, so uh, I can't. I've seen your butt. <laughs> there, okay. I'm filming this through the mirror because I can't get. There's a, it's a very small bathroom. Anyway, Gary's dumping water down the ta the toilet and then gives it a good flush, and then just keeps filling it up and then flushing it so that it gets a good whoosh going out. Okay, then Gary emptied that, and now I'm just waiting for him to tell me that the black tank is closed, and then I'll do my part with the enzymes. I just did a video on, on which enzymes we like and uh, why you use them. I'll put a link to that up above and at the end of this video. Gary just told me the black tank is closed, so now I turned on the pump because we have fresh water in there. And I'll fill this up and let that little enzyme packet dissolve. These, this brand dissolves so much better than the other brands we've used. This is going to have a little soft water in it because of the fresh water tank having the baking soda, but that's okay. All right, good to go. And now we're going to slosh some more on the way home. Get that baking soda really mixed up good in the fresh water tank. Gary wants to run that baking soda through our wi our water lines to disinfect them as well, but he doesn't want it to go into the hot water heater. So how do we bypass that? We have the bypass valve here. So I just have to shut this one off. And then there's one down below here that I open up and that opens it up so the water can just go past without going into the water heater. and. Okay. Here we go. Are you doing it cold or hot and cold or what? It'll all go through cold now because I shut the... Hot water heater off. Yeah. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been a while, so you might have forgotten by this time. <laughs> Orlene already took care of the toilet itself when we were dumping tanks. Yep. But I have to do this job. Ready? Ooh, so hard. 
and Gary was saying that if there was vinegar or bleach in it, you'd be smelling it, and the idea would be to run water until you don't smell it anymore. But well, with the baking right now, soda, yeah, having a little soft water is no bad thing. Okay. Okay, my arm is buried deep inside this thing, trying to find the valve. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. But it, it works. This is underneath our bench seat, yeah. Gary's side. And uh, back in there. Okay. Yep. I got it. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> it's just a push pull. Push pull? Uh, push pull push. Yeah. I'm sure the newer ones are a lot more convenient. Oh, yeah. Everything is. But we like the challenge. Yes, and it works. Because the baking soda can will probably settle a little bit at the bottom of the tank, Gary's going to flush it out with some water with the hose, and the pressure should get rid of the rest of it, and then we'll drain that. It was empty, so now Gary is just putting some more water in, just kind of flushing it again, and then he'll drain that out. And he refilled the fresh water tank. All good.